Hey guys and welcome to a video of mine on how to set up Graylib on Windows with the MinGW compiler. And yeah, let's get started. First make sure that you have make and uh, G++ compiler installed. To do that you open your command prompt and type in G++ minus minus version. And you will see that uh, you have one installed. Hopefully um, you can use different ones. It doesn't matter um, if you use it from Mises or from Sigwin or it doesn't matter what, what you're using uh, at this point. So just make sure you have a G++ compiler that is pretty much up to date or not older than like 10 years or so. Now make sure you have make. Um, there are pretty much all tutorials you need on YouTube to install these two and I recommend searching them. I will not show this, I will just show you how to set up your Raylib to get compiled. So first of all what you need to do is to go on the Raylib homepage and um, get your cheat sheet first to get all the commands you need for later. Then you scroll down and you have your Raylib bindings. Um, you go to more, then you see the list of the bindings. Uh, we are using C++ as I called before. And if you open it, you go to the Raylib um, main page and you just go to code and download the zip folder. I already downloaded it, so I will not download it uh, again. And what you also have to do is scroll down on the GitHub page until you see build and installation. Um, on this page, you click on Windows and you will get to a new page and you scroll down, which is needed later you're gonna need this one, build Raylib using make. So we got to build Raylib from ourselves and use it later. So how to do that? If you downloaded your folder, you just open up a new folder and go to your downloads, open a new folder and go to a location where you want to store Raylib. I already have it on my C drive. Um, with a folder. I just create a new one and I call it uh, Relip Tutorial um, because I already have a 5.0. So now you go into your downloaded Relip Master file, go into that folder Relip Master and just copy everything inside of it into your new folder where you want to start. This might take a while because it's um, yeah, some megabytes big. So after you've done that, you go into the source folder. Uh, you can close the other folder, by the way, we don't need it any anymore. And uh, inside the source folder, you will run your terminal. You either click, right click and go for a terminal or show more properties and open the terminal here. Or you can even type it here, just CMD and you will open it. So inside this terminal in the folder, make sure you're in the right path. You're gonna type in the command we've seen here. Um, I don't need mingw32. Um, I just use make. So make sure that your make works without the first part here. Uh, otherwise you're gonna need that first part. So we're gonna type in make platform equals platform underscore desktop. You will get a bunch of warnings maybe, but this is, um, yeah, 
don't bother them. If you get arrows, you have to watch them up. But uh, as you can see, if at the end there is written raylib static library generated uh, libraylib.a in source folder, then you gonna go to your folder again and you type lib and you're gonna see it libraylib.a. So now how to compile it. You create a new folder on your desktop or wherever you want. You call it to your project name. I name it tutorial. I go into the tutorial folder. I copy the raylib.a file into that folder. I also search for the raylib.h file, which we also want to copy into our tutorial folder or our project folder. Now, what we have to do in our project folder is to create a new folder, which we name lib and we're gonna put our libraylib.a file into that lib folder. So now you create a new file, which we call main.cpp. Make sure you have the ending correct and you can actually um, use it. Now we go into our editor we want to use. I'm using nvim and we are gonna open up that main cpp file and start editing it so that you can see I'm here in my main cpp file and I include raylib.h. I create a main function as always I'm stupid. So your main function, now you're gonna init your window with your width and height. Name it however you want. Now we're gonna set uh, our target FPS to 60 FPS. Always set your target FPS. Otherwise it's rendering like crazy and you don't really need that. Now to test it, we just uh, do a little while where we check if uh, window window should close. And while it should not close, we wanna begin drawing. We clear the background with black. We draw the FPS to see if it is working correctly at position 10 and 10. And we want to end drawing again. So like this, it's your first Raylib um, file you gonna open. So you go back to your project folder, open the terminal inside of it. And now you're gonna type your G++ command to actually compile Raylib or your, your main.cpp with Raylib included. To do that you type G++ main.cpp minus L lib. This is to include the lib folder so it searches inside that folder for libraries. Now we're gonna include the Raylib library like so and we also need L open GL32, LGDI32, and LVINMM. These are necessary to use with Raylib. Um, yeah, you just need them, so you have to include them. Now we press enter, and if you get no errors, everything is correct, and we have our a.exe file in our folder you can open it and you will see a window with your fps displayed so you can see here's no errors or something you can just use it so this is how to use raylib or how to get it running if you want more tutorials on how to actually use it um, with a make file and how to set up your project with almost any editor because you can 
use it in any editor you want. You just have to include a raylib.a file and um, link the compiler to your header files. So that's everything you need to do. Even if you use an IDE or a simple editor like Sublime Text, which I used for a long time, um, I can show you some basic tutorials on that. Also, this for example is a little project I'm working on and if you want to know how to set up a project like this with the structure, you can um, just give me a like or tell me in the comments and I will do another tutorial. Also, I can do more tutorials on Raylib itself and how to get started, how to make your own game, maybe with a little snake or minesweeper game we can do together. So if you're happy with what I just showed you and it works fine, just tell me in the comments. If you have any problems, also tell me in the comments. And um, yeah, nothing to say anymore. Good luck and happy coding.